Indie Movie. This week on Indie News, how to make a Slender Man costume, or how about this creepy heat-sensitive mask, the best audience submitted tutorials from the Mogulween Terror Trials, and the power of a yellow glove for achieving a severed hand effect. Hey, Indie Mogulers, Griffin here, and it's just nine days until Halloween, so today's show is full of creepy effects to inspire your next horror film. First, a shout out to Adam, Aaron, and Bailey, who sent in these awesome jack-o'-lanterns. Over the last three years, the myth of Slender Man has spread, and due in part to a recent video game called Slender, he's also a popular costume choice this Halloween. Thankfully, our friend Corinne over at Threadbanger, the channel for DIY clothing and style, has a tutorial for creating this creepy look. And best of all, no sewing required. Slender Man looks kind of like Rorschach from DC Comics. Here, Household Hacker creates a mask that changes colors when you breathe through it, using a $20 packet of thermal dust mixed with non-toxic glue. Imagine what other on-camera effects you could create with your own heat-sensitive paste. Earlier this month, I asked you to participate in the Mogulween Terror Trials <laughs> by sending in tutorial videos showing off your Halloween-themed effects. So let's take a look at your tips and tricks. Best camera effect goes to DIY Camera Guy, who built a simple rig that holds his upside-down camera on one side and a spinning hammer on the other to capture this flying weapon shot. Perfect for killing zombies. Speaking of zombies, I also love Noptop's super cheap dead eye effect. It's so simple, all you need is a ping pong ball and scissors. I love cheap ingredients, so the best gore effect goes to director Dan Four, who uses latex, fake blood, and cotton balls? Wait for it for a pretty convincing flesh wound. To go even cheaper, you could use glue to build a wound like Napram Awesome, and make your own fake blood like New Breed Films using corn syrup, chocolate syrup, and red food coloring. You can watch all these Terror Trials tutorials and many more like the Phantom Monk's Zombie Face in a complete playlist at the end of today's episode. And remember, you have until Thursday to send me your horror short films. For more information about the Terror Trials, check out the video description. When we think of chroma key, we often think of green screen or maybe blue screen, but videos like this one that Studio Phantasma submitted for the Terror Trials reminds us that any color, like black, can be keyed out to create interesting invisibility effects. That reminds me of this short I made for FilmFights.com using yellow latex gloves. It's about a flying, talking turkey sandwich. So I hot glued sandwich makings onto a yellow glove, creating a puppet, then keyed out the yellow to complete the effect. The trick is locking down the shot on a tripod and capturing a backplate. After you key out the glove, you can slip the backplate underneath the video track. Then finish the job by cropping or using a mat to remove the rest of the arm. Instead of making my hand disappear, we could also use this technique for a severed hand effect. With some yellow tape and a little gore, it's a pretty quick and simple effect. Just watch out for shadows, which won't match up with the backplate. Having multiple lights will help eliminate shadows and produce a cleaner image that's easier to key. I'll leave you with today's playlist, which starts off with Threadbanger's DIY Slenderman costume, then Household Hacker's shape-shifting Rorschach mask, and my friend Marissa has a new video featuring this week's notable video contests. And in their own separate playlist, I have all of the DIY effects tutorials you sent in for Mogulween. There's some great tips in there, so you should definitely check them all out. Thanks for watching.